Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a community project that has been launched that I find particularly interesting. As someone who is very active in this acknowledged community, I'm actually the admin of the Reddit, a major Discord, and the Wiki, so yeah. I really find it in my heart that it is part of my responsibility in being in those positions to try and support Signalist community fan projects as much as I can. Uh, and also because I really love this community, so I really like trying to support them. The project in question is a brand new Project Zomboid server. For those who aren't aware, it's Project Zomboid got a Signalist mod some many months ago, and I already made a full video on that. I'm not the best Project Zomboid player. So this video won't exactly be covering what's in the mod or what's been updated to the mod, but rather talk about the community, really scheduled server that's been created, and the plans with the mod and that server moving forward. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So let's first start with a little bit of lore here. Originally, the Signalis Project Zomboid mod was run by a different user when the mod originally released. Since then, that user has actually transferred the ownership of the mod to another user, and that user is Nona. Nona is still providing updates and maintenance to the mod even now. And they're really the one who's continuing to push it further and further, making it a larger and more immersive mod. Their work has been instrumental in really continuing this project's longevity, and continuing to increase it in scale. They're kind of like the, I don't know, like me for Siggy MP. And it's really interesting and awesome to see another fellow creator working on such a massive project. Originally, they had a server open that was run by Siggy Cord that kind of facilitated this type of thing to make sure that people could play the mod and really have a place to play, you know, an official server to play the mod that had rules and stuff so they could get the full experience out of it. Because Project Zomboid is in part best enjoyed in large RP servers. So that was the original plan. However, Nona has some massive updates planned for the mod, and a lot of pressure was put on Nona to kind of maintain both the server and these updates. So we've actually temporarily split off, and we have a second server that is running while Nona works on the updates and is doing their own thing, but the second server is going to be running while we wait for that. The secondary server is run by a user called Swag Messiah, and it's just a temporary server that's being put in place to kind of take the pressure off Nona, let them finish their plans, and make it in the way they want without, you know, a massive Discord breathing down their neck. Swag Messiah has run an amazing Project Zomboid server. It has very good rules, very good regulation, it's very well done. I've heard nothing but good things about it since they've taken over. If you'd like to join, you can go into the description below. There's a link to the Signalis Discord, the City Core Discord. It's not the official server. It is the um, a fan-run server. But you can join there and then go down to the Project Zomboid chat and you can find the details to joining from there. But let's talk about those plans Nona has. What's plan Nona's plans for the future? Well, Nona is planning on adding a lot of things to the Signalis server mod. Things like a health system and Signalis healing items that would really make it more like an addition of things like the med kit and the um, stim and the repair patch. All the classic Signalis healing items. This, they have stated, is done. So this is definitely a feature certainly coming in the future. Signalis items, really non-functional RP stuff. So just kind of funny little like random Signalis items for you to enjoy and sink your teeth into for those beautiful, beautiful RP moments, those are also done and have been added to them. They're working on fixing the Spawn City map. Well, I'm not entirely sure what this means, as I don't play a lot of Project Zomboid. I, I, it is something that I've heard a lot of people complain about uh, regarding the mod, so if it's something that you recognize as a player of the mod, it is something that Nona is working on. An Aeon store and general currency system. This is really the addition of a system into Project Zomboid that allows for Aeon to exist and sell items, and I think that's amazing. Definitely going to add a lot more RP options and emerge. Save zone spawn system and a zombie threat system. This would really be changing the way spawns work, changing the way zombies' threats work, and how they work for guarding safe zones. So, definitely an interesting system, definitely will change a lot in Zomboid. And next, we have a teleportation system and extract system. These would be, as Nona stated, 
systems that would make the game a bit more like Escape from Tarkov, which is extremely ambitious and extremely interesting, and I'm very interested in seeing how that unfolds and what type of system that ends up making. Next, we have automated cell refresh or backend cell wipes. These would be so that way loot doesn't have to be re, you know, you don't have to wipe the entire server for loot to come back. You can just wipe certain areas and loot and enemies would respawn. They have not started this step, but it is something I know that they definitely want to work on. Finally, they want to add an RP NPC system that would allow for questing, which would definitely be major for both RP and really just gameplay in general. These are all ambitious systems, and I'm very excited to see the progress of these as Nona works on this project across time. But the truth of all of these systems are, it's going to take a lot of time for them to be created. Putting unnecessary pressure on Nona to rush through this is going to make them sacrifice some of the ideas that they had in this. And at the end of the day, modding is a passion project, so such pressure is really bad. As a community, I think we should really look forward to this and, you know, be hyped about the future that Nona is planning, but also not pressure them and, and tra if we really want to play at the moment there's the other server being run by swag messiah which is going very well i think this was a decent way to just highlight some of the major projects that is being made in this section of the community and really just shine some light on some great work being done by other creators i hope you all are interested in these projects or at least enjoyed the video uh, this has been christopher beast and i hope to see you all next time